On this video I play this study of Friedrich Burgmüller twice. The first time at a rate of 48 beats per minute and the second time at a rate of 72 beats per minute. In this study called Barcarolle the composer wrote down a tempo andantino quasi allegretto and a quarter note with dot is 72. So you might believe that this is the right tempo, but this tempo is much too fast to play by children for whom Burgmüller wrote down this study. Therefore, I believe that my first version with 48 beats per minute is the right one. I shall explain you why I think that. If you set your metronome at 72 beats per minute, the pendulum goes back and forth and says tick tock, tick tock. One tick tock is one count. One back and forth of the metronome is one count. You hear two ticks, but these two ticks is only one count. It is back and forth. It is the same as a lot of players of wind and string instruments do while playing. They move a foot, mostly the right one, down and up. They do this to keep time. Down is tick and up is talk. But tick and talk together is only one count. So the movement of the metronome back and forth is also only one count. That is the way in which the composers of the 19th century, like Burgmüller, used their metronomes. And that is the way you must also read the metronome number of this study of Burgmüller. In this study, the Barcarolle, we have a 6-8 meter. Here we must also divide the meter in two. The players of the wind and string instrument move their right foot like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in a triple meter we must play the piece at a speed of two thirds of the indicated number. In this study, the Barcarolle, two-thirds of 72 is 48. First I play this study at a rate of 48 beats per minute. In my opinion, the right tempo.
placed this baccarol at a rate of 72 beats per minute. In my opinion, too fast for children, for young children who are learning to play the piano.